45-40. China is just out. They don't even get the consolation prize of a, of a, of a placings match. We've had our round of 16. We've got our four matches set that we will be picking up. Uh, it will be Russia up against Poland. Ukraine will face Korea. Italy will face Hungary. And Japan, who knocked out the USA convincingly, will face France. So, as we have our, our introductions going on here in the hall, Jeff, what are the implications here? Here are the implications. Now that Hungary is through to the eight, and it was a very difficult battle against Germany until in the eighth lap, Martone scored nine to three to put, to put them in the lead. Now, Ukraine has a few chances to qualify for the European zonal spot. If Hungary finishes eighth, Ukraine would tie them by finishing second. If Hungary finishes fifth, sixth, or seventh, Ukraine must finish first. If Hungary finishes fourth, Ukraine must finish first. And if Hungary finishes third, Ukraine would tie by placing first. And we'll have the tiebreakers during this match. There's a lot of options for Ukraine. Bit of a long shot, though. Well, that, that is a... That is a... Uh, that's very complicated. It's early in the morning. <laughs> All right, we just had our athlete introductions. We're going to watch the Korea-Ukraine match. On for Korea will be Choi Soo-yeon, Yoon Jisoo, Kim Ji-on, and Seo Ji-on will be in reserve. On for Ukraine, it will be Alina Voronina, Olga Harlan, Alina Kamashuk, and Alina Kravatska will be in reserve. It will be Kim Jion to open for Korea, Alina Kamashuk for Ukraine, and it will be Kim Jion to close for Korea. Olga Harlan will wrap things up for Ukraine. Our referees for this match, Marius Floria of Romania and Andreas Dudas of Greece. And we've got Alina Kamashuk and Kim Jion on the piece for our first of nine legs. Uh, the way this works is that each of the three fencers will fence each other. So three times three, that's nine legs. Each has a target score of a multiple of five. So five in the first, 10 in the second. And we have to reach that target score. And one of the benefits of this system is that a trailing team can score more than five points, but the leading team can only score five points to take us to the target score. And it can make it very exciting when you have one very hot fencer can bring the score all the way back. As I see it, David, the key to this match is going to be Olga Harlan. She is well rested, having lost in the 64 yesterday, and she's gonna to have to come through with a very positive indicator here uh, for Ukraine. Well, in the, um, in the Georgia-China match, uh, Theodora Kakiani, who was, uh, I think, 2018 European champion, um, in three outings scored 21 points, and wow. that really helped carry Georgia over the line. So that you can see the importance of, of that, but, you know, it's so difficult. You know, we've seen, you know, any number of times in team matches where it is, in fact, Carlan that that is, uh, you know, that carries the team to an extent. But, you know, up against Korea, and this is a strong Korean team. Um, you know, that, that's, that's not a, a recipe for success, necessarily. So just as we're watching this match unfold here, we'll get to it shortly. Uh, the big storyline in the 16 for me and for the event was Hungary versus Germany. Germany was up 30 to 29 um, after the sixth leg. And in that sixth leg, Limbach of Germany defeated Martone six to two. Now Martone is in the odd position of she's already qualified no matter what happens with the team. And she wants the team to qualify. And she was despondent and trying to psych herself up. And she was able to come back from that hor horrible leg and win nine to three and turn the whole match around. Well, there's so much at stake here for especially Ukraine and Hungary that you, you can't afford to, you, you can't afford to, to dwell 
on, you know, on what is past. You got to move forward. Well, to Martone's credit, she mourned for a few minutes and she came out fiery in the last one. All right, that will take us out of the first. Kim getting that final hit. Four for Alina Kamashuk, five for Kim Jeon. We go into the second. Our target score is 10. Choi Su Yeon on for Korea. And we'll get our first view of Olga Karlan here in this second leg. So we've got four other big matches going on. Russia, Poland, Italy, Hungary, Japan, France. And I can just, I can see on the board just next to us that Italy ended the first up 5-3 over Hungary. So Hungary's going to have to dig deep if they want to hold on to the gains that they have. So, David, I apologize if early in the morning I uh, bombarded you and the l viewers with all the information of the tiebreakers and everything. But let me try to simplify it. Ukraine is in a must-win position. If they don't come out of the eight, Hungary is the qualifier from the European zone. Ukraine must win. There we have it. Attack from Troy, counterattack from Carlon, sort of a little bit of a lazy action there. Attack from Carlon, considerably less lazy. She's got to move her feet, try maybe to get out of the box in the middle there. Yeah, I mean, she had nothing to lose in the individual, but this is really important for their program. And if they can pull this off, that, you know, that's going to be big. I do believe that in Salt Lake City last year, before the pandemic hit, uh, Harlan actually sat out the individual for the sole purpose of being fresh for the team event. Who took the blade? The referee says it's Troy. Choi stops, Harlan attacks, 8-8, a little bit of a war whoop. That team. Well, yeah, so they, 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 the, the Koreans are doing a very good job of keeping the lid on here. Yeah, in, in, in the box, and they're very quick. Choi hit Carlon in preparation quite easily there. Oh, pull distance. Carlon is short, and, and Choi scores. Well, that that ends it. Uh, ends the second. So five for Choi, and four for Olga Carlon. Ten eight our score, and it will be Yoon Jisu on for her first outing um, for Korea against Alina Voronina. Let's just check some scores here. Japan is leading France 7-6. They're still on a roll. Italy up 6-4 over Hungary. Well, actually, this, uh, what I'm looking at here from the on-guard system is a bit behind. They have ended the second on green, and it is Italy 10, Hungary 7. So what happens if they both get knocked out in, in, in this round? Hungary is, it's, Hungary is the zonal uh, qualifier. Okay. So Marius Florea is back up to referee in this third leg. Nice attack by Yoon. She fenced beautifully yesterday continues to do so today. You know, we talked about this yesterday with so much at stake today, probably more than any other World Cup in terms of qualification and, 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 
and all of those factors for somebody like Yoon Jisoo, who picked up a bronze medal yesterday. Uh, Liza Pustai, uh, uh, who picked up a bronze. Um, Anna Martin, who, who won out. Um, the, the, you know, the, they, they don't have the luxury of saying, okay, I did that, I had a great day yesterday. They have to have a great day today. So just to piggyback on that, I agree they all have to have a great day today. Korea has already qualified, so the pressure's off Yoon. Martone has qualified as an individual from the European zone. The pressure's off her. The one person the pressure on is uh, Pushtai, because if for any reason one of those options happens where uh, Ukraine overtakes them, Pushtai is out of the Olympics. That's the bottom line. It's a long shot, but it's possible. Well, a good outing here for Yoon. She doesn't seem to have lost any of her spark. Attack and preparation. Yeah, very, very quick. You could feel the Ukrainian team's a little deflated right now. They need to get something going here. Attack from the right. Well, Yoon finishes that off quickly. Five for her. Only three for Alina Voronina. Ukraine's going to need, they're going to need more than this. Yeah, and in, in the next two laps, you have Komashuk and Voronina. We won't see Harlan until the sixth lap. So they have to be careful, Ukraine. They've lost each of the first three laps, 5-4, five, 5-4, four, five, four, five, three. If it continues along that way, Harlan's going to be in a deep hole. It's time for her teammates to step it up a little bit as well. Well, they, they, they're going to have to carry their weight. We go into the fourth leg. It is Choi Suyan on for Korea. Alina Kamashuk is back on for Ukraine. And just one other option here. There's still an outside chance Hungary could overtake Korea in, uh, into the top four in the world. If they do, the, the, U, the European spot would go to Ukraine. So there's, there's, there are some options here for Ukraine to still sneak into the uh, Olympics in the team oh, event. This is, you're giving me a headache with all of these important facts. Well, you said I gave you a headache yesterday without those facts. <laughs> that, no, that was doing commentary with a mask. <laughs> Well, yeah. Good from. Uh, There's a nice Kamashuk, attack from yeah. Get out of the box. Push the Koreans down the piste, not in the middle. They seem to be very strong on attack and preparation. Something different than in the box. Attack by Troy. Well, looks there, like there, there you have it. Yeah, it's quick. They're quick. It looked like Komashuk parried it and it was the remise that hit. That's what it looked like to me, and that's happened a couple times. The Koreans are very quick. Kamashuk back. So, so she scored now two attacks, one in the middle, one at the other end. Kamashuk. There's the attack in preparation. You could see it. The, they're just quicker off the mark in the box. Yep. To a fencer. Well, just looking over at the Hungary match, Anna Marton is on in the third for Hungary. And they have overtaken Italy now. 14-13, the score there. And make no, no mistake about it, Marton is the leader of that team. Nice attack by Choi. And... The oh, attack man. again. Choi Suyan delivers for Korea. Five for her. Two for Alina Kamasha. Things not looking good here for Ukraine. But, you know, it, 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 the, the real story starts in the seventh. 
And um, we've got Carlan on in six and in leg number nine. So it is Voronina, who had three in her first outing, on for Ukraine, Kim Jian. For Korea. It's time for Ukraine to make a move. They've, I don't think they've scored two touches in a row more than once in this match yet. We've lost our picture. We still have our captions, but we so we can at least see what the score is. Magic Tristan racing over to the far side of the hall. So David, now's a good time so people can understand, again, the, ram the reason we're on this particular match is because Ukraine still has a chance to qualify. I'm going to go over it slowly again, what those options are, because we have no Vincent to watch at this moment. Um, if, oh, here, here we go. Everyone's lucky, I don't have to say it again. Okay. Wow. We're talking four touches while we were gone. Four nothing for Kim. Yeah. And Ukraine cannot afford any leg with nil point. Wow. Five and out for Kim Jian. We've got Olga Karlan coming on now, but she's going to have to really run up the score. Renata Katona up against Serena Vecchi on the green piece. And There's already Hungary. been a substitution by Italy in that match. I'm going to find out who went in for who. Well... That could be a full substitution or a tactical substitution. But let's see what, um, well, what Dave, you, uh, David, the champion of, Olga Karlan can do. It's here. now or never for Ukraine because if, if Karlan doesn't cut into this lead significantly, um, as Yogi Berra said, it's getting late pretty early out here. Who's Yogi Berra? Never heard of him? I'm just joking. Okay. There's a nice repost. Oh, Did Carla. she find the blade there? No, no she didn't. Nope. She guessed curveball, went for the head parry, and Yoon threw a fastball and hit her. Nice attack by Harlan. But she's not in a position to trade touches now. She has to get a run. Yeah, Carlan asking for a video review. going on. They've come to the end of four on the green piece. It is Hungary 20, Italy 18. We'll go back to action here. Now I can I can tell if if Yoon was asking for a video review, I, I, I think they must have. The, the way that this <laughs> hall is set up for this team competition, we can't actually see the the match that we're that we're calling only on the uh, on the monitor. On, on the monitor, ten point Korea lead. Carlin's gutting, starting nice to get attack. a little, little wind in her yeah, sails. Yeah, she's got to do it. Get some emotion. Get the team riled up. 
it's, it's, a, it's a big hill to climb, but we've seen it many times. We've seen it in team matches. Mm -hmm. And here's the perfect opportunity. Mm -hmm. Carlin, one of the and best. The, and the perfect person. Right, she's the perfect person to go on a run. And she's done it before. And she's going to have to do it now. Just like that, that's a beauty. Carlon pushed Yoon all the way to the end of the piece, where the odds are 75, 80% that she's going to get the touch, and she did. She probably should do it again, but be very careful for the attack and preparation. Well, Carlin's put five points on the board in this leg. But the window of opportunity is narrowing quickly Quick. here. Yes. Nice for post. It's two of those for Carlon. Well, it will be a net positive for Ukraine that was in, another, in, in this lag. Yeah. Another nice for post. It's three in this lap for Carlon. Two attacks. Attack and preparation from Carlon. So here, it's starting here. That's a few in a row. It's, it's uh, Yoon stopped and Carlon made the attack and all of a sudden, this starting to happen. She's put nine points on the board. Right, but she's got to continue right now. She has an opening. Yoon is certainly thinking about it. Pressure's changing a little bit. Carlon needs the next couple of touches. Get closer. Well, if she gets Yoon rattled, it's going to be harder oh. for Yoon to reach 30. You just can't do that. After fighting so hard, touch after touch, just to take a mental timeout and do a counterattack in the middle like that gave Yoon a free, a free throw. All right. Pull distance yeah, beautifully yeah. there. Attack and preparation or attack from the left. What's the call here? I can see, I can now see Andreas Dubas going to the scoring table. Have a look at the video. This has been a much better outing for Ukraine. And Voronina's up next against Troy, and Voronina's going to have to build on it, chip away. Certainly don't, you know, don't let Korea build up their lead any further. Attack from the left. And that is that. Well, let's see. That's 10 points in that leg for Olga Karlan. It's, uh, it's, there's still a significant Korea lead, but as we go into the seventh, it's going to be... Vornina and Choi. There was 13 when Vornina did not score in the uh, in the fifth, so ten for Carlan and five for Yoon. So here we go into the seventh, and with Elena Voronina on to face Choi Su Yan, this this will tell the tale. Well, Voronina right now is minus seven. She lost five three in the first leg and five zero in the second leg. Um, Unless they have... Have they made a substitution that we just can't see from here? It's, it's very possible because Voronina just didn't have it in the first two legs. Alina Kravatska.
it would have to be. No? What was that? That was Carlin. That was the, uh, did they redo the 30th point, uh, the 30th touch? I, I didn't they, see. They didn't change the scoreboard. No, they didn't change the scoreboard, but they continued defense. That was sort of an odd one there. Okay. It's 30 to 23 no matter what. That's the bottom line. Alina Voronina. She's in. I'm just checking the, it's too far away to, to see the jacket. So we assume that it is Voronina. Only three points in two outings. She needs a, an explosion, a cascade of scoring here. I look for her, Voronina to be aggressive right out of the gate here. Well, on the green piste, Italy has retaken the lead now, 28-24 there. Well, Voronina was aggressive, but Cho was waiting with a repost. And the attack. And just like that, David, the momentum in that 10-5 leg for Harlan is pretty much done. It's a bit like the myth of Sisyphus. Harlan pushes the stone up the hill and then it rolls back down again. Yeah, and pretty quickly as well. It's three in a row. Forney not very dejected having trouble scoring in this match. I can't see the... Here comes Troy pushing, beating the blade. Well. Beat attack, prise de fer, four nothing, and What Ukraine's going to be rooting for shortly is for Hungary to overtake um, Korea and to make the top four. And by doing that, Ukraine would then get the European spot. So they can be a lucky loser today, even though it looks like they're not going to make it through at this point. Five for Choi Suyon. Another nil point from Alina Voronina. We go into the eighth and penultimate leg. Yoon Ji Su on for Korea to face Alina Kamashuk. And from here on out, it's, we just see what we get. That's true. And I don't mean to pile on Voronina, but in her three legs, she scored three touches, hit 15 against for a minus 12. And that's pretty tough in a team match. Yeah, Hard to come back yeah, from that. Yeah. You're not gonna. Only under exceptional circumstances. Can you survive? Right. Right, if Carlon was plus 12, theoretically, something like that, but we're not seeing that yet. Um. She, Carlan stands right now at, uh, with a positive four indicator. Right. There's a nice attack by Komaschuk. I will look for Yoon to explode out of the gates on the referee's call of Ale. Attack by Komischuk. And this time I really expect Yoon to explode out of the gates. I don't think for her to go backwards. Twice in a row, she got hit. Huh. Well, they're going into the eighth. Things aren't looking great for Hungary now. They've had a couple of very slow legs. And it is 35 for Italy, 26 for Hungary. So you know something, David. If Ukraine goes out in this round and Hungary goes out in this round, then Ukraine has no chance whatsoever because Hungary won't be over, able to make the top four. There you have it. And here's more. Nice, nice action by Yoon. Well, that's her first point in this leg. <laughs> a 
That's a good distance control there from the Ukrainian fencer. Whoa. Whoa. Yoon goes to the back line, trying to avoid the attack of Kamashik, and then rolls over. Wow, she's not, doesn't look in good shape there. Marius Floria resets them. That was a beauty. Yeah. Komastruk went for the attack and Yoon was just waiting with a repost. Beautiful. Simultaneous. We haven't had very many simultaneous in no, this match. No, no. It's been... Um, oh, there's another one for Kamashuk. That's her fourth. You know, maybe if she can get... <coughs> Did you see how Yoon answered that? Yeah. Came right back and said... Not in my house, went right back with a straight attack. Repose from the right, says Florea. <coughs> it's not over yet. Komastrik needs a couple more. And there's one. You know what? She's been very successful pushing you into her end of the piece. Yeah, yeah. That's three, four times already. At you, least. At least, and you figure Yoon would stop giving up ground so easily because she's getting hit. Well, I was going to say that if, if Kamashuk can get the score line over 30 and then, you know, add a couple of more points, that would, would give Carlan at, at least a target she can see. You know, it's... It, I can't think of how many times I've seen Carlan pull these things out. Yeah, go on a run, yeah. Attack of preparation from the right or simultaneous. Delay says that the referee is going to look on his own volition at the video before making the call. No, he's, uh, the referee just came over to reattach uh, Kamashuk's uh, mask wire. Nice repose by Komashchuk. A couple more here, it gets a little interesting, but she needs a couple more before Yoon gets to 40. Oh! My God. Komashuk made power repose. Both fencers stopped. They thought that someone got hit. Remember the okay, that, that's, eight, that's eight in this eighth leg for Kamashuk. 8-3, and she can build on it. That's a beat attack from the right, prise de fer. You can see, you can see the hand motion by the referee. Yoon is feeling it right now. I mean, this is getting clo much closer than she would expect. It's a 9-3 run, and it could go, Komashuk can go all the way to 40. First fencer to 40. He's took on the attack again. And scoring again. This is amazing. It's a bit of a swoon by you. This is, uh, Hungary right now is trailing Italy by six by seven as they end the eighth and go into the ninth and final leg. And this is turning out to be a very different kettle of fish. Yoon is feeling it right now. If she doesn't get a touch very soon, I mean, you could see Komashuk almost run the table on her. her. She's scoring a repost. She's scoring she's, a she's long had, attack. She's, she's had 10 points in this leg. And there's the repost. She got one. 
But there's still some room here for Kamashu. No, there isn't. That will do it, but what Kamashuk has done is completely made up the Voronina deficit. And given Harlan a chance. It's not a great chance. She has to score 12, and Kim only has to score 5. But I can tell you, as uh, having been team captain, you, 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 we've you seen it happen. You don't think that Olga Karlan can score 12? Oh, certainly she can. Yeah. We've seen this happen many times. Okay, so Kamashuk. Well, Kamashuk ends with a plus one indicator. Amazingly. We've seen comebacks before at the 2003 Pan American Games. Dan Kellner of the United States was down 40 to 30 and came back to beat Cuba 45-44. So it can happen. All right, so let's say that does happen, and it doesn't look very good for Hungary right now. Hungary goes out, Ukraine stays in. We'll go over the options again. So. Not to ruin everyone's morning after the bat, after the match. But again, for, oh, there's an attack for Kim. If Ukraine does not win this match, and on the other piece, Hungary loses to Italy, uh, it's going to be very difficult. That's, that's the ball game for Ukraine, because there's no other options at that point. Oh, oh my oh. God. Oh. This is a punch to the to the windpipe. Wow. Carlin just decked her. Not intentionally, of course. I mean you've got two bodies hurling hurtling towards each other at, at speed with your arms out, you know, things like this happen, but Man, that was, you could feel that over here. Oh, yeah, she's okay, which is amazing. Looked like she was in big trouble. Kim is really quick off the mark. Nice attack by Harlan. I could see Kim doing a couple simultaneous actions in the box here, and, or they're trying to catch Carla in their preparation. Not going back like that again. Well, the, all that shouting you hear is the Hungarians right in front of us as Liza Pustai is trying to rescue the, the Hungarian cause. Attack from Kim. Carlon says, repost from me, ask for a challenge. Uh, Andreas Divis and Marius Floria are going to go have a look at this one. It's a... Oh, my. It's 44-39. Pustai has been on a run in the ninth leg. And before this match ends here with Ukraine versus Korea, it is possible that if Hungary loses, that's attack and preparation from the right. Simultaneous. Okay, just a couple of other things here. Right now, Poland is leading Russia 40-39. And it is France 38, Japan 34. And it is Italy through to the semifinals, 45-39. Hungary is out. And if Kim scores two more touches, Ukraine is out. That's right. There's one of them. Oh, that was a statement touch right there. That was a great attack by Kim. Well, Carlin's only managed three points here. She needed a, an explosion.
That's it. That's it. 45-36. And Olga Harlan. Harlan will be going to Tokyo as an individual, but her teammates will not. Let's see. There's, there's one. one is three. Ends on a, po a positive seven indicator. Let's go to um, is that eight? Is that piece to eight? Yeah, I know. We're going to go to the red piece and we'll be able to see from that way. They switched the piece up on us. So we're going to go to red. The score that you see on the board is not the score for this match. I'm going to go run over and take a look. But it is France to the right, Japan to the left. For social distancing reasons, they moved the blue and red piece to the outside piece. So we were able to rewire blue to bring you Ukraine and Korea. What's the score? 41-35 for France, and now it's 41-36 for France. 